Hello, everybody. This is Gary Kay, and you're watching a special video edition of my Rants and Rays podcast. I'm wearing a solo shirt because the movie comes out today, uh, but I'm joined by uh, with Carl Johnson, the senior product manager at Christie. Carl, how are you? Very good. Very good today. Get excited about Infocom. Excited. I'm excited about Solo. You're excited about Infocom. Uh, we both sound really good thanks to, to Tascam and our relationship with Tascam, bringing all of us together here with Zoom conferencing. Uh, Carl, tell them a little bit about what are you, you're the senior product manager for what product line, actually? Well, the Terra, the, the Christie Terra, right? It's an exciting new AV over IP SDVOE products. We introduced it last year. Uh, we've been shipping uh, product for different in installations, different applications, and it's, you know, it's going to be exciting in a couple weeks uh, demonstrating and showing everybody what we can do. Yeah, and, and last year, um, when you guys launched your Terra product line, one thing that was different about you is you didn't just have a transmitter receiver. You had a controller, which most of the companies didn't have. And one of the unique features that you have is the way you, the way you use control, uh, software control, to actually manage a system, a Terra system, and you're going to demonstrate that today, right? Yeah, we're going to get a we're going to have a little look at the the software and I'll I'll navigate through some of the controls and give give everybody an idea of, you know, what's the uh kind of the configuration and and programming environment like. Well, then why don't you go ahead and upload that while you're doing that? I'll remind everyone that uh Christie's in the same place they've been. So if you've been to the Vegas in the last uh, three Infocoms, same location in the North Hall in uh in booth number N706. I want you to put that on your stop, not just because of the Terra but I want you to uh, I want you to think about uh, what uh, what other products that uh, Christy has because Christy's a leader in the display world, and uh, this is a big uh, this is a big show for display technology, obviously. So what are we looking at here? It looks like we're looking at a a screen with four uh, four images on it. Yeah. So what I've effectively done is here is I've already logged into the Terra controller. Right, and I guess okay. you know one of the things about the Christie approach is that a lot of AV over IP applications are, you know, very focused on switching, right, and switching control and signals. Uh, the the you know the SDVOE platform grants us a lot of opportunities uh, for uh, processing uh, and managing content on on a number of screens. So what we've done is, uh, you know, build a build an interface and a control interface that that allows the you know the integrator really the flexibility to do to do more than just you know the, the standard switching and to make it easy to do that so what we're here on this page here is I'll call it the configuration page uh, where what you do is you create displays in your system and then you assign them their format and, and how you're going to use them so at this page here I happen to have over here on the left side these are let's call Mac addresses for a stack of I there's about 10 10 receivers there and I've already mapped four of them to a two by two video wall array. So, so this is theoretically, you have 10 different output locations you could send content and you've mapped four of them and that's what we're looking yeah. at here on the screen. Yeah, and so what I'll do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, make a new display that's I'll just, it's a, it's a single display, okay. right? And then let's just see, I'll go, uh, let's see here, I'll go Visa. And one of the neat things that you know, we're doing here is, um, let's see, columns, row, width, height, uh, yeah, with height. So I'm going to do, uh, let's just see here. I'm going to do one, nine, 20, and I'm going to do, uh, eight, 10. So let's just say I had a custom display here and let's see, I'll go 60 Hertz. So now I've created an extra display in the system. That's 1280 by 810, right? And now I'm going to go map this receiver and so now my system, right, I have an SDVOE system. It's all connected in on a 10 gig Ethernet switch. I've, I've made a system that has a two by two array with 1080p, 1080p panels, uh, 1080p. You can see here in the lower right, we've yep. got some statistics on the side panel, uh, 1920 by 1080. And so I have a two by two array, and I also have a single screen that's actually a custom resolution, 12, uh, 1920 by 810. So I'm going to just... You know, I could create it, I'll, I'll just, for the sake of it, I'll create one more, uh, let's just see here, I'll pick, pick factory, and we'll drop down, I'll pick, uh, let's just see, UHC. It's a standard, a standard. Yeah, some, some standard formats, right? So now I've created another display, right now I have three displays in the system, and I'll go map a receiver to this guy. So, 
you know, now you see this, so this is, is the of equivalent of the old days of, of uh, programming a matrix switch. Yeah. So, so now I've, I've created these displays and now I'm in, I've moved over to the displays page. I'll call this the drop and drag and drop environment. Right. And so these are, these are transmitters over here. Right. So if so I am a picking player, our sources for each display. Yeah. So now I can start dragging in sources onto each display. Right. So, you know, one, one arrangement here is this one where I've displayed four different images on the video wall uh, for the four screens. Now, what I'm going to do actually here is I'll get rid of three of them. And now I'm going to just stretch. Uh, let's see here. Grab it. Okay. Now I've stretched it and it's a two by two magnification on that screen. Right. So if you had a 4K made out of four 1080 to 1080 displays, displays it would automatically chop the screen into a two by two. Yeah. And we've, so we've stretched it onto that two by two. Another neat thing that we're doing here is if you look on the right side, it says mode, I can have live or preview. So right now I've staged it, but I haven't pushed it onto the display. So I say push to the display. It's going to go push it onto the display. So now okay. it's live. Yeah. Right. So now it's live. Now that's, uh, you know, it's a neat thing versus if I go to live mode and, um, you know, the instant, the instant that I drag a source on, it would appear on the display and you'd see me building what's there. So that's kind of a neat thing for, you know, managing the video all. And then, as I say, I, I, I save a layout here, right? And that, that layout happens to be called demo. I'll, I'll, I'll create a new uh, layout called demo v, VW1. Right. So now I have two, I have two layouts that apply to that display here. And if you look over here, we had demo, right. And, and I can apply that layout. Let's see here. That's, that's the same layout I already have. Let's just see what this, let's see what this one does. That one's, that one's a clears the screen. So if I come back, an, another neat thing is that we've made it really easy to provide a multi-viewer arrangement. So let's see here, we'll go to the UHD display here. And if I double click on it, I jump in and I've already created a two by two grid on the UHD display. And why don't I, I'm gonna go to a four by four grid. So now what I do is, it, and this makes it really easy to create. Yeah, like know, a command and control center using a 4K display. Yeah, so if I, if I wanted the display to be, uh, you know, a multi-viewer arrangement, I'm, I'm in this, again, in this quick, this quick drag and drop environment, right? So I leave multi-viewer mode and now that, you know, I've displayed those three sources in that arrangement. And, you know, if I enter back into that mode, right, we'll let, you know, you can even go to, you know, 15 by 15 grid. Uh, you can move these, move the windows around if you like, right? Very and then, Right, and then again here, I'm gonna save a new layout and I'll call that multi or M or call it MV one. So I've saved that layout. All right. And then if we come back here, if I think about this video wall, I have an array of four screens and normally I'm stretching an image across all four, but in the video wall uh, control with uh, Christie's Terra, I can also, let's just see here. I have to clear this one. I'm going to clear that one. But now that window or that uh, screen on the video wall, I've moved into multi-view mode. Right. Right. And then I'll leave multi-view. Right. So when I drag another source onto here, save as a new layout and I'll call that the mix. And, and one thing that's unique about SDVOE is theoretically, you could use anyone's transmitters and receivers with this software, with this control, correct? Yeah, yeah. So the the, the Terra control, it would, you know, if we if we bring in some other transmitters from some from from another manufacturer, and we're just let's just all in the same firmware family uh, range, that you know th this could be managing uh, another another device. So and and really, this the controller is really powerful, right? The, managing the switcher paradigm is really easy, right? Drag and drop, you know, map your map your inputs yeah. first drag and drop your sources, then you can, if you want to get into the video processing features of video wall magnifications or multi-viewer or mixing them together and creating layouts and recalling them, you've got a quite a powerful tool, just a few couple devices. Now you're not just switching, you have multi-viewer, you have video wall, you have KVM. Uh, one of the neat things here, if I go show you KVM, 
uh, if I want to uh, assign a KVM here to this display, right, and I had a server uh, connected to this device and I have video here, I would just tick the USB box and let's see here, drag this in here. And then I would have, I've made that, that tie on the USB connection to the receiver to the source. So now I've also pulled in KVM, you know, three, three products to using together, uh, used together, you have a very powerful system that solves lots of different AV applications. Yeah, I noticed that you can select the video, audio, IR-232 control, and USB separately for KVM yeah. and audio, audio breakout applications as well. Yeah, um, and it, it, it really, that, and, you know, even, even with, you know, am I going from the transmitter to the receiver or vice versa and so forth, and you really have a powerful programming environment with layouts, and then they just get called quickly from, you know, an API if you have a third-party uh, control system on the outside. So um, this and the controller... Uh, along with the transmitter receiver, all this will be at Infocom in, uh, in your booth, which is in, again in the North Hall, uh, booth number uh, 706. Um, tell me about um, where you've seen the applications for this so far, because this is a new product. The technology SDVOE is new. Where has Christy seen the applications for this so far, a typical application? Well, I, I tell you what, we're doing lots yeah, of different I'd love, to, I'd love to see your picture back again. I know you're okay. You're yeah, let me, demo, but sure. I'd love to, and I'd love to hear where you see the typical application so far. Yeah, let me, let's see here. Share screen. Uh, stop share. There you go. Okay, I'm back. Actually, we've done lots of different applications. Uh, we had an early project was a three by three video wall where we uh, actually supplied uh, the multi viewer output to uh, a nine screen array and we had like six sources uh, and it was a video wall in a presentation environment. We actually okay. added a Phoenix node to that to pull in IP cameras. Okay. Uh, we had another customer in rental and staging uh, actually was working in a uh, convention hall and didn't want to run home run switcher uh, connections from a central point. And so we actually had two network switches and, and bond or uh, stack them together and just ran a couple cables between floors. And then we had a, a group of uh, transmitters and receivers on the first floor and on the second floor. And so we had, a, let's call it a distributed system. Uh, but that was, you know, 4K, uh, that was 4K routing. Uh, another really neat project we did was a projection mapping project uh, for, let's just see, the, um, the Washington, D.C., I think it's a Capital One Center, where Terra was switching and distributing 4K content to, you know, large format projectors for the projection mapping application when, you know, before the, the, the ice hockey. Uh, yeah, on the, on hockey. the ice itself. Yeah, that, that was really exciting because there's, there's uh, you know, video footage of that online. Uh, let's just see. There's just straight extension. Uh, honestly, the, uh, the Terra you plug just about you plug anything into it, and it just punches it across to the other side. Uh, you know, our our validation team has said it's it's the most reliable uh, extender that they've they've tested in the lab, and that you know lots of big names have been tested. Um, let's see, video so, walls. So, so the point is, the applications are cover everything from signage to entertainment to even meeting room applications. Because I'm yeah. wondering, you know, at what the adoption level of this will be. Because, you know, AV over IP is a new technology. Some people are afraid of it. Some people are worried about security on the network. But this will be the second year of, of this being a big deal at Infocom, don't you think? So I think a lot more people will be coming in looking for it rather than just you having to find them, and get them to discover it. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it really, I just I encourage, you know, look at look for things like synchronization on an array of screens with moving pictures, look for KVM, see a demo of KVM, right? See the multi viewer, right? Functionality, right? See, see the mixing all that together in an environment, see 4k pictures on large, large displays, again, moving, uh, feel and interact with the content and, and experience the latency, grab a mouse and move it. Those are all things, you know, we're there, don't just stand, you know, I'd encourage everybody, don't just stand and look at or listen, go grab the mouse, you know, get, yeah. get, get involved and touch it. Well, again, uh, Carl, I appreciate you doing this demo. I think it's more interesting to, to see it than to just listen to it. Um, so I appreciate you doing this. The software is impressive. It's easy to use, obviously. And, um, and you'll be in booth 
and the North Hall booth 706, uh, right across from our booth, actually. Um, and uh, so I appreciate you joining me today, and thanks for the demo. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to Tascam for providing this gear for us to make this happen today. And we will see you all at Infocom. Go to Ray Pubs. Uh, you can see all of our coverage. Type in Christy in the video search window. You can see all the videos we shoot live at the show floor as well. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day.